Let's install VS Code. It's easy enough. We're installing it in Arch Linux and with Hyperland, so there shouldn't be any problems. What could go wrong? If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Oh wait, wh why does it look like that? Why, why did the music change? What's happening? Oh no, it's one of those videos. Yep, let's get troubleshooting. So after a bit of googling, I found this, which is basically, he told me to put it in hyperconfig. I don't have a hyperconfig. Do I need to make it? Eh, what the heck, let's just make it. So I made the hyperconfig. Then let's just yoink this. Yoink. And then paste it in here. After that, let's save out and maybe this time it works. And then after closely analyzing another documentation, I realized, well, nope, nope I don't need hyper.config. It doesn't exist. It doesn't matter. I went to the hyperland config. Then I realized I don't need the hyperland config because I don't have it in here. I need to go to monitors. So there we go. I am going into the monitor section and then pasting this part right here. Hopefully that works. Let's just yank it in, get it over there. There we go, we pasted it in, now let's save it. It's right protected, so we need the exclamation part, right. And then after it's done writing, let's just see if it works. Cross my finger, nope. nope, it does not. Why would it work? We have a lot in the video, so let's continue. Maybe I have to maximize this, maybe I'm doing it wrong. After maximizing it, nope, it does not help at all, it looks even worse. Anyway, after another documentation later, I thought, hmm, maybe the scaling is off? No, nope. nope, not the scale. Scale has nothing to do with this. So what the heck is happening? Maybe I need to add some parameters. Maybe that is messing things up. I add the parameters. Nope, nope still broken. <laughs> uh, since that didn't work, uh, maybe, hmm, maybe my graphics driver is messed up as to Mesa. I'm using an AMD graphics card, so let's install it. It's maybe some code flags that I'm missing. Maybe that will help. Before doing that, let's check some stuff out. So I changed my mind real quick. So I copied this over and then... Hmm... Nope. Even if we add multiple parameters, it does not work. So yeah, and also it doesn't exist. I did not realize that that it not existing means it does not exist. I kept typing this throughout the video which you will see. So forgive me for my incompetence. Anyway, uh, I just copied this over into my flags file hoping that it will work. After running code, nope, nope it's still not working. And you would think that after seeing this uh, not available feature this many times it would work then after they do verbose yeah it spits out a ton of things and no your boy ain't reading all of it none of it in fact i am not reading any of it uh, but i do try to skim through it hoping i find something but nope i don't find anything i don't know why i typed in the same command again hoping it will work it does not work well I am still looking into the documentation, looking to Reddit, which is basically the dark web of the normal internet where you can find anything you're looking for. Then I realized maybe my code installation is messed up. Let's install VS Code, the open source version. And after installing that, nope, it's still messed up. So I'm like, hey, what the heck? Let's go back to the original one since we already tinkered with it. And if it messes up, eh, who cares? So after that, now we are checking if the scale is still messed up. I don't think the scale has to do anything to refresh it. I did check it. Uh, it's not working. I put it in my like actual hyperland directory and hope for the best. Then this, like get this. If I type in this line right like this, it does not work. But as soon as I type in in this format, yeah, everything is fine. Like I don't know if it works. I don't know if it cares but it just works well that happened then after a while after documenting after uh, messing with a lot of things i got into the env file which is good so in here i'm literally specifying to use x11 only to realize nope it does not work now at this point i'm trying everything i am changing to x11 so it takes x11 first instead of wayland which 
does not help. What a surprise. Then I went to the actual ozone EMV, like actual ozone EMV just to check for anything if I missed, if I can do, okay, so I'm changing Wayland to X11 in case that helps. And guess what? Maybe you guys can guess what happens after doing this. So I'm still looking into documentation and it's not working. Again, I am doing this command, but this time I add disable GPU and miraculously it just works. It just works. And I think, okay, so disable GPU works. I just type in disable GPU, it just works. So at this point, you would think, okay, so let's just config everything, get into the config, type in disable GPU. It's working, right? So write it, quit. Now, now if I just type in code, it works. Fine, we are done. Like the video is done. We don't have to worry about anything. Code works. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, to leave a like. And at this point, I was thinking, wait, is it bad or is it good that uh, it's running without the GPU? So I quickly search on Google to say, is hardware acceleration bad? And with all of that, I think, okay, everyone is disabling it, so it's fine. Video is done, but my curiosity got over it. Start the music again. We are enabling hardware acceleration. Now this time I am getting into ChatGPT because my normal sanity is not working. I am going into ChatGPT asking him what to do and Monsieur ChatGPT, he suggests a lot of things. The first thing that he suggested me is to type in this GPU disabling command. So compositing and rasterization, one of them worked. Now let's try again, nope, nope nothing worked. My GPU is still detected. so. I don't see the point. I still copy it, tell my chat GPT to see it. He gives out an output and again I do verbose for some reason, knowing very well I won't be reading any of this. So then I think, hmm, maybe try the command did not work. It will, wait, it worked? Well, no, this time I used uh, desktop and so if I enable feature Vulkan, this one doesn't work. And for some reason, this works, so use GL works and it does still shows an error that it's not in the list of known options so I do not know what the heck is happening. So anyway, after a while of tinkering, I have a while of messing around with everything and now at this point I'm trying to figure out okay how do I check if my like VS code is actually using GPU or not. So I listed the command that works, I tried a bunch of configuration, nothing was working and this it, this part is basically the same thing I was doing the before, previous parts. I don't know why I thought it would work, but for some reason that use GL command, it was working. And I thought, okay, so let's keep that in and try to figure out if my GPU is being detected. So if there is a GPU in my VS code thing. And first of all, that command did not work. I gave the to GPT and he fixed it. So fixed it the first time. Anyway, I'm getting hyper. So this time it detected my GPU. So my D GPU is being detected. And again, I typed in a command. It gave me a really long output, which I was not reading. I literally copied it and pasted it to GPT and asked him what was going on. So basically what GPT says is that, no, my GPU acceleration is not working. So it's not enabled but my GPU is detected. What the heck? And what am, I, what am I supposed to do? So I removed everything. I just typed a bunch of things. I tried a different types of like configuration with the same things. I tried it in different ways. I tried to do it in the config. I tried to run it in the uh, command line itself. I asked GPT for a bunch of solutions, like different ways. I asked him different uh, questions. But every time it was kind of like I was following a loop over and over and over. Everything I search, everything I do, basically uh, fall like dumps me in the same solution, which was really not helpful. And again, I do not consider myself to be like an absolute god level genius in these things, like in Linux or anything. I don't know why this is happening. So if any of you watching any of you know what the heck is going on here 
please let me know in the comments down below if you have a solution for this also let me know and if this doesn't matter and i can just run it as like with the disabled gpu also let me know so with everything out of the way even environment variables so the final thing i could do a defeated soul i felt defeated i could not do anything about my vs code not running harder acceleration so i slowly typed in disable gpu and called it a day like every professional programmer if it works don't touch it so if it doesn't work and it breaks in some time we'll cross that bridge when you get to it if you enjoyed the video then leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye